How do I find preliminary information on my topic? This short video will answer that question and get you started on searching encyclopedias. We've already discussed brainstorming and organizing our thoughts on the topic, created questions, and developed a list of keywords about our topic. Now it's time to begin searching for general information about our topic. Let's continue with our vegetarianism example. Encyclopedias are a great place to start when you want an overview or general factual information about a topic. Did you know that there are not only the general encyclopedias that you're used to seeing, like the World Book or Encyclopedia Britannica, but subject-specific encyclopedias as well, like ones just for science or history? Nowadays, a ton of information is available online, and that includes encyclopedias. Let's start with Google Books. You can search for encyclopedia entries on Google Books by typing encyclopedia as one of your search terms. For example, encyclopedia vegetarianism. Google Books will return a list of encyclopedias that have entries on vegetarianism. There might be enough of a preview provided of the book to allow you to read the entry. For example, the chronology in this encyclopedia provides a good brief overview of the history of vegetarianism. If there isn't a preview, check with a librarian or search the online library catalog to see if the Sanjak libraries own the encyclopedia. But what about Wikipedia, you ask? Your professors often tell you you can't use Wikipedia as a source in your research. But that doesn't stop you from using it as a jumping off point to find sources you can use. Wikipedia is a great place to find general information, but don't just take their word for it. Always follow the claims to the original source using the linked references. Fact checking is important when using internet sources. When you get to the site, evaluate it carefully. Who wrote the information? What are their credentials? Are they considered by others to be an expert on the topic? Or are they a self-proclaimed expert? Then follow up by examining the publisher or host of the website. Look around for the About Us or Contact Us information. If it's not there, just back away and move along. The About Us or Contact Us area should have a clear statement of the goals or mission of the website. The website should also contain more information about the organization. Okay, so we're moving from the known to the unknown here. It's time to dip our toes in the ocean of library subscription databases. The Sanjak Library subscribed to over 100 online databases on your behalf. Two of those contain online encyclopedias that you may access for free, but only through the library webpage. Here's how to find the databases by name. Since we only have two encyclopedia databases, this is the easiest way. Credo Reference is filed under the letter C, and Funk and Wagnall's New World Encyclopedia is filed under the letter F. Yeah, librarians like to alphabetize stuff. Go figure. The first one we'll try is called Credo Reference. Find it in the alphabetical list and click on it. If you're off campus, you'll have to log in with your name and G number to see the database. Once the database loads, enter some of the keywords from the list you made. Now press enter or click on the little magnifying glass at the end of the search box. Click on any term in the results list to view that item. And look, here to the right of your results list, is that a concept map? Yes, Credo Reference does their own concept map of each topic to help you dig deeper on a subject. Just click on an item in the concept map to find more results. After you've clicked on an item in the results list and are reading the article, use the share icon at the top of the page to email the article to yourself. The database will also email the citation to you. You know how to copy and paste, right? You can then just copy and paste the citation into your Works Cited or References page of your research paper. How cool is that? Now, remember to read all the screen. Over to the right of the article you're currently reading, Credo Reference will suggest other related articles you might want to look at. Now, let's go back to the alphabetical list of databases and look at the Funk and Wagnall's New World Encyclopedia. Same song, second verse. When you click on the database name, if you're off campus, you may have to log in with your name and G number before the search screen loads. This interface looks different because we get the database from a different company. 
Just put your keyword in the search box and press enter or click on the search button. In either database, if you don't get good results with your first keyword or set of keywords, try a different one or a different combination of keywords. That's why you made a list. Once you see your results list, click where it says HTML or PDF full text to take a look at the encyclopedia entry. When you're viewing the article, use the Tools menu to the right to email the article and citation to yourself. If you need help with using an encyclopedia or pre-searching your topic, just ask a librarian. We're here to help.